channel LG Fifth Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to look at a 15-minute uh, trading setup for gold and silver. In front of you is my weekly time frame analysis for gold, and uh, this one is gold. And if you are interested in silver, and here is the one for silver. So if you are interested in seeing the weekly time frame analysis, there is one available on my uh, YouTube channel. You can refer back to it. I think I posted a few days ago, uh, three, four days ago. Let's get back to the 15 minute time frame analysis and see what's happening on us even smaller waves uh, and then daily time frame analysis. So in front of us is chart and uh, it's a very exciting uh, trading setup that we have right now. It's a little bit risky. The reason is because I personally do not tend to uh, go against the trend. But if you are considering 15 minute chart, then we have definitely uh, created a nice uh, trading setup and it's an accumulation trading setup for the bullish side. I can definitely see a pattern in Elliott wave analysis which is called a flat correction. We are seeing an A, B, C structure, which in which case A is right over here, right over here. Uh, this is B and we are expecting C to go all the way down over here in this range somewhere around 1910-ish area. This is 3, 3 and 5 structure. Alright, the th middle 3 is a complex wave. Uh, you can consider it as a flat correction, zigzag correction and a zigzag correction. This is a double 3 correction structure, 3, 3, 3 structure. We have completed wave 3 over here, 3 wave over here and we are expecting for a sharper move upward to complete a 5 wave structure that will be 3, 3, 5 structure and we can definitely rely on prices to be somewhere over here this also seems to be 50% of the previous range that could actually give us an indication and that we have completed some sort of an impulsive wave starting from top to bottom right over here we have seen a lot of accumulation and this wave structure has definitely spent more time way more time than the previous correction that we have seen right over here so in this case that's why i'm saying that we are expecting this is a mm, simply a division we can see that we have actually seen the first uh, resistance that has come on at 25 percent so the next one is expected to be an important 50 percent right over here and that's why the target of 1910 is an important i'm expecting that tomorrow and uh, this is February of 9th is expected to be a bullish day for gold. It's not going to be only a bullish day for gold, but it will also be a day which will allow uh, for short sellers to actually join the trend who actually miss the trend right over here too. So we're actually looking for a smaller wave 1 and a smaller wave 2 and then go on downward. But it definitely is producing a smaller time frame setup in which we are expecting for the prices to go upward. Let's have a look at silver. Silver is also presenting a similar idea. Only thing is that the middle structure is different. We are con clearly seeing a three, a three and five wave structure. Within that five wave structure, I think we have completed wave one and wave two, and then we are expected to go upward. So let's break that in. We can definitely bring the um, the eight divisions in case right over here. So. If we can bring it right over here, okay. And right now we can see uh, that I think this length is approximately one by eight. This length is approximately one by eight, so we can measure that length. Give me a moment. No, it's not one by eight. It's probably. It's another exact ratio. We'll have to look at it for now. Uh, but this is what I'm looking at it right now. In terms of Elliott wave analysis, we have definitely an ABC structure. I'm considering this as the start of structure right over here. This is wave A. That's our wave B. And I'm expecting that we are to go somewhere around 50%. It does not have to be 50% in terms of silver. But just for sake of simplicity, we can consider it as a five at 50% and within that structure we can definitely look at the start of the structure right over here this is wave one and wave two right over here i am expecting that more price action is expected three four and five on the upside in silver 
that once again that will also allow for short sellers who missed the initial drop to join the trend and then they can actually uh, wait and enjoy the drop on the downside wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye